who's ready to go. They're off in the 3K, 15 laps. This is interesting to watch, 23 men running around a six lane track. So far though, there hasn't been too much bother as they settle into their pace. That's Eric Kyo from UCD taking stock there on the inside. So as they come through to finish the first lap, it looks around 35 seconds. Aaron O'Brien from UL taking the pace. And that steady running, you see everybody just easing themselves into it. It's a long way to go. 15 lap race, is that correct? <laughs> Your mats are good. Oh, I'm a mats man myself. So that's one lap down coming through now to 400 meters. Be interesting to see. She'll be hitting it in just over 70 or just on. 70 seconds, not, not a blistering pace, but... Two you know. 35 second laps. <laughs> Your mat's coming into play again there. So but the nonetheless, he's, he's strung out the field here, although in indoor running, it can be deceptive. Uh, with the banks, runners tend not to run in packs, so. Well, yeah, there's about, I'd say, 75, 80 meters between the leader and the gentleman who is dropping off the back of the field. Yeah. Aaron O'Brien at the front there. James Grufferty from UCC taking stock on this. There's a little mini pack just breaking away here with the two cork men, UCD man. Although, like I said, it can be deceptive with indoor running. I assume there's going to be some lapping taking place here pretty shortly. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Number 322, Eric Kyo, just keeping track on this group as well. Nobody wants to get detached. It's never easy when you get detached from a leading pack. The two AIT boys working together, two UCD guys working together. So it looks like number 380, Aaron O'Brien of UL, who's in the lead. Although UL doesn't look like he has a UL top on to me. Unless they've changed, they may have changed their colors. That's my apologies, that is UL. It clearly says it on a singlet. <laughs> so they're about 50 meters shy of lapping the gentleman in last place. Just over the three minute mark in. Be interesting to see what the finishing time is in this race. Keen O'Reilly there of UCD. Just keeping an eye on everything around him. But there is a, definitely a group that's detached here of about a dozen runners. And they're already coming up on the back markers. There's going to be some lapping soon, so keep your oh, eyes peeled. Oh, there's a nice clearance in the men's high jump for one of the multi-eventers. Be interesting to know what height that bar is at right now. Aaron O'Brien was momentarily in the lead there, but Keen O'Reilly has reassumed position at the front. He's stretching them out a little bit now. They seem to have upped the pace. Yes, they're just starting to lap the back of the field. Again, it's only a 200 meter track, so when they start lapping athletes, they lap a little bit sooner than they would outdoors. Keen O'Reilly has really injected some pace here. Sometimes it's, it's hard to gauge on your screen, but when you're watching it in person, you can actually see the changes. And I can assure you, he's, he's injected some pace here. And they're moving away from the rest of the pack. Another athlete gone clear in the high jump. 
All action is on the track at the moment. We'll try and get you updates on the high jump and the heights. The bar is that if we can. Eric Kjo from UCD moving into third position. James Groverty from UCC in second. So three, these three guys have detached themselves. They're going to be buying it out for the medals. Aaron O'Brien trying to chase them down. He's become detached. He's a group behind him and a group in front of him. It'd be important for him now, if he's still to challenge for this race, he needs to catch up to that pack. But it's the two UCD men and James Groverty from UCC. If, any, if anybody actually happens to know Ender's height, that would be helpful because it looks like the high jump bar is set about 12 centimeters above his head height. That would give us a somewhat of a reference to the height of the bar. Karush is next up to jump. So James Groverty and the two UCD boys they really are pulling away from the rest of the pack. There is an Athlone athlete who's chasing them down. I think it's Vincent Connolly. Keen O'Reilly is just losing touch ever so slightly. Maybe that injection of pace, he's feeling it in his legs now. But it's Eric Kyo who was very relaxed in the early stages of the race, who looks very comfortable now taking up the running. But James Grufferty is right on his shoulder. He's not letting him go anywhere. Field is definitely spread out now. Athletes running through the line there trying to get their splits. I must say Eric Kyo is looking very comfortable although a lot of distance runners it's hard to tell they can be very stoic other guys that show the pain. But James Groverty is going nowhere. This is developing into a nice little race. Is that the music uh, they, coming back they, they, on? They, there's the tunes pumping up now. We'll probably have to up the volume He's here for the to feed. The bell lap. And Eric Kyo is trying to pull away, but like I said, James Govery isn't letting him go anywhere. I beg your pardon, that's the penultimate lap. Yes, that would be a fast pace if that was the bell. <laughs> 7.45 I'm, on the clock. You'll have to excuse, I'm not watching the clock, I'm watching the runners. I'm definitely not uh, up on my middle distance <laughs> stats, but I know it, an 8.15 will be pretty fast yeah, yeah, yeah. That, for that, a 3K. That, 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 that would be a very fast there. Uh, so coming up on the penultimate lap. And Eric Kyo, the bell lap now. <laughs> there we go now, I lost bell. count, but Eric Kyo has, has he the toe. James Groverty isn't letting him go anywhere. As they pass a back marker, that's not going to help. James Groverty trying to pass him. The two boys are burning it down the back straight. It's certainly got a little bit of speed for this last 150. Eric Kyo is going to come off the bend here. He's going to try and take the title. He's looking over his shoulder. Don't look over your shoulder. Put the head He's down. Got James it. He's Groverty. got it. He has it easing up. Hand goes up. That was an excellent performance. 836. Eric Kyo from UCD. Terrific run. And the Athlone IT athlete, who I must admit I wasn't keeping an eye on, Vincent Connolly has come in to take the bronze. Just ahead of Kean O'Reilly from UCD, who ran his race. His race was run a little bit earlier on with that injection of pace at the midway point. But that was really a terrific performance from Eric Kyo. He took over the lead with about 800 metres to go and he went nowhere from there despite all of the attempts of James Grufferty. 